Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, and if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and come back again and hit that notification button so that you may be notified for our next video. Today I am making my smoothie, my flaxseed frozen yogurt, mixed fruit, mango, cranberry, and what else is in there? That's it. I am making that. I love them. They are so good. The yogurt kind of helps add some sweetness to it. You can omit that if you like. You can omit anything if you like. The flaxseed is, you know, need that to keep you regular. <laughs> it's a lot of fiber in it. I use two tablespoons of flaxseed. I use about uh, a hand to about a handful or two of the spinach. You can put however much you want in it. The mixed fruit I'm using has pineapple, peaches, and mango in it. And then I have bananas that I add also for sweetness. And what else is there? I already said my frozen yogurt, and that's it. Okay, so once you get everything that you need that you're going to put in it, and just you really can put whatever you want in it. I had the oranges out there, but I forgot to put them in. It didn't need it. <laughs> it was still really good. And look at that. I have have it all in there, getting ready for my first blend. I put the cranberries, the frozen fruit, and the spinach in first because the spinach in with that, so by the time I'm done, it's well blended. And the fruits, because they're frozen, so they really need to get really blended well. So I have my ninja here. It works so well. I put it on frozen drinks, smoothies, and let it blend. Blend, blend, blend. Oh. I know it's so loud. I started it first. So, yeah, so you just blend that. And then once that's done, I put, I add my frozen yogurt and two tablespoons of flax seed and my third banana. I put three bananas in here because I'm making enough for two tall glasses. And then I set it on smoothie blending again. And wait for one minute and 10 seconds. So the, it takes, it'll take you about five minutes maybe it depends on how well you want to blend it but I use I usually listen it through about three times just to make sure everything gets well blended and remember you can throw whatever you want into your smoothie if you want juice in it to make it a little thinner feel free it's no juice so I, I like mine to, you know, I don't, I can't drink it that fast, so I like it to still be nice and frozen while I'm drinking it. And it takes a little while for it to actually, you know, solidify and to get everything all blended up and put into the cup so you can sit and sip on it for a while. So, here it is. Boom, 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 boom. Go back later and scrape the sides so that everything gets in there. I'm trying to get a better view on what's inside of it. I didn't want to have a light on it because then the reflection from the, the glass. So yeah, just blend it until it's nice and smooth. And there you have your smoothie. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Yum, yum, yum. And that's enough to make two full 
Those are 16 ounce cups, I believe. Sure. Oh, so you filled them both almost to the top. So if you wanted to just make enough for yourself, I would just, you know, put the other in a cup and put it in the refrigerator. And if, since you're not putting any juice in it, it doesn't get real runny just from sitting in the refrigerator. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Love you.